Hey y'all, this is the first video of a three video series on using SketchUp as a CAD program for use with vCarve Pro. Uh, in this first video what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll download a couple of extensions that we'll need to convert an SKP file into a DXF for use in vCarve Pro. Now we're going to work in 2D rather than 3D projects for this video series. But this is the first one in the series of three and this is getting the plugins needed to convert to DXF. Stick around. Okay, before we even go into SketchUp, we need to uh, download and install a couple of plugins or uh, extensions, whichever you prefer. And the first one we're going to do is uh, the convert SketchUp SKP files to DXF or STL. And um, I'll leave a link down in the description box below to this page. But basically, if you're on guitarlist.com, you're on the right page. Now, if you look down here, there are two different versions of the plugin. One of them is for um, version uh, 8.2 and up, and this one here is for version uh, 6, 7, 8, 13, and 15. What the difference is, I don't know but since I've downloaded SketchUp Make I need this version here and basically all we'll do is uh, go to the correct version here right click save link as and navigate to the folder that we want to save it in and as you can see I've already done this then we would save it there okay I've already done it so I'm not going to do it again now if you read down the page here here are installation instructions for whichever version of SketchUp you have and um, but it's a it, it's a good little plug-in and just know that uh, so long as you're on guitar list you're on the right page okay now we'll go over into SketchUp and there is one more plugin that we are going to have to use or have to download excuse me and we'll go into the window menu and then down to the extension warehouse or alternately we can come over here to this icon if it's available on your version of SketchUp and just click it and off we go now this next plugin is called Solid Inspector. Now Solid Inspector, um, let me search for it here. Hit enter. There are two versions of this plugin as well, and these are the two. They're by a, uh, a user named TomTom, Tom. and again this is uh, depending upon which version of SketchUp you have. Solid Inspector 2 is for SketchUp 2014 and newer and the original Solid Inspector is for SketchUp 2013 and older. So what I would do is go down here for my version click on this link here and it'll take me to this page. Now I have already downloaded and installed Solid Inspector so I don't have to go through this but you would just simply click this button and follow the prompts and it would download and install in SketchUp. Now there's a nine and a half minute video right here that uh, I would encourage you to watch because it not only explains what this plugin does it explains uh, what its use is and how to handle the various different error messages that you'll get. Basically, Solid Inspector, its entire job is to inspect a component you've created to make sure that there are um, no loose or stray lines, um, that you don't have any gaps in corners or in lines, there are no uh, reversed faces or extra faces. It just makes sure that the component that you're getting ready to convert to DXF is a solid object and it's it's a very good plug-in it's uh, 
it's real useful in a bunch of other situations and scenarios more than just this uh, converting to DXF. So I've already got it installed so I don't need to do this. Um, after downloading and installing both of those extensions um, shut off SketchUp and restart it. Now when you do after um, installing uh, Solid Inspector the icon for it will be somewhere out here in the modeling window and basically all I did because it's in the way basically all I did was come up here to the blue bar and drag it up into my tool bar and drop it and leave it go and to check to make sure that the uh, SKP to DXF or STL file extension is there we'll go into the file menu and come down here below print setup and there it is now that lets me know that it's installed correctly and uh, is ready for use. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Those are the two extensions that we need to download to do our conversion. If you got anything at all out of this video, please give me a thumbs up down below. And uh, whether you do that or not, thank you for watching and take care.